But no, no, part four, I'm gonna play new music. Um, we're gonna let everybody know. Um, my top list for the top celebs. Apparently, I had to redo this video. I'm gonna give everybody a heads up. I had to redo it. Um, reason why is because um, it was too long. I like I got screwed on the minutes. I like I was a minute too late. So I'm gonna get back to you on this slab list. I try to redo it like how I did before. Um, I hope I do it the same way or do it a little bit more crazy. I don't know. Okay. Um, like I said, I'm making a new list for these top celebs slash music celebs. Okay. Give me it. I'm just giving you heads up. This ain't the original. Gonna be the original top. But I have a feeling number one is gonna still be number one when I tell you it. But I'm gonna go from backwards from 15 then to one. Alright, number 15, Solage Knowles. I think I said it right, I don't know if I didn't. I'm sorry to her and her sister and shit like that. Beyonce's sister, fucking hot as shit. I don't care if she had a kid. She ain't fucking, I don't think she's with the baby's day anymore when I heard her talk. Six is hell and fucking bring it on. Damn! I wish I could marry her or date her or whatever. Like I said, this list is, if I would would love to date or marry them if I ever had a chance in hell. Like I'm saying, this is if I ever had a chance in hell with these people, so yeah. Ross knows yeah definitely. Um, fourteen. Issa Bonnet and her daughter. Now I forget what her daughter's name off the top of my head. Like I said, this ain't the complete list, so Lisa Bonnet, when you seen her in Angel Heart, god damn from the I'm like thinking this girl, man. This girl is supposed to be like kind of the older, some one of the older girls of the Cosby's. Man, playing that role in that damn uh, Angel Heart shit, man. Man, I, I was like, damn, I wish I got like I was Mickey Rourke and shit, man. Fucking her like how she did. Oh, damn. It's a hot shit. And her daughter has the exact same looks. And bigger titty and everything else that's more her daughter's old enough now. She's there she's there over eighteen, so I can say whatever. I'm sorry. Lisa, I have to tell you about your daughter, but your daughter's sexy as hell and everything else. She got the body and everything. You can't really see her in more movies and shit. But anyways, um I'm gonna get off that. Uh number thirteen, this is my one of my boys' favorites, King Snook's favorites. He'd probably be num his number one. Beyonce knows. Hot as hell. Damn right, I would love to fuck her and everything else. Jay is fucking lucky man. Having a kid by her and everything. Yeah, yeah. And she stays by him ever since. So, you know, lucky man, I tell you that. Props up to my boy, um, King Snoke. I got your girl on here, so I didn't forget. I had to put your name on here because I know this is probably be your number one. So I had to like, no. Alright. Number 12, Shakira. Damn! Shakira, that fucking damn. Ah, oh, Colombian girl, man. I swear to God, all that sh Those videos, you ever seen those music videos of her and shit? Damn, I tell you. I bet you she, she's good and bad too. I'm sorry, Shakira, I gotta say that, but. I bet you are. I bet you are fucking big time freaky. I bet you get trolled motherfuckers in the bedroom. I bet you, because all those freaking moves I see, I bet you fucking make God come within two seconds. Maybe less. Maybe they just come right off the bat before you even put the goddamn thing in you or, or do whatever. But yeah, yeah I'll tell you this. Uh, that would be some girl who loved the day and buy everything. Oh my gosh, she's sexy as hell. Just wanted to bring you up. Carrie, keep doing what you're doing. Got the little body and everything else. If you're dating somebody, props that motherfucker. I tell you this, you're a lucky man, or Mary or whatever. You're a lucky man. Um, Phoebe Dobson. People don't know who Phoebe Dobson is. She's a rock kind of R&B star. She was out before Rihanna. Kind of reminds me of Rihanna a little bit in a way uh, because she's like, like almost like half like color like her and shit. Even though she, I don't think she has the same 
ethnic background and shit, but still. Sexy as hell though. Love her for that and everything else and Phoebe Donaldson sucks me. Uh number tell ten. Melody. You wonder who the fuck is Melody? Melody from the Pissycat Dolls. Yeah, everybody likes Nicole Sorenez or whatever the fuck you want to call her or whatever. Yeah, she's hot as shit too, but I think Melody's better and I think she's sexy as hell. Like, I think she has some shit that nobody ever seen yet that I think she's a big star in her own and shit that I can't wait to see more of her. Uh, she's sexy as hell and I would love to date her and marry her or whatever. But yeah. Okay. Next on my list of um, number nine would be Brooke Valentine. You wonder who Brooke Valentine is? R&B slash rap singer. Um, yeah, she's fucking, she has a banging ass by everything, man. I love data and everything else. Uh, I would say more of this shit about her and shit, but like I said, I need to try to get this through. Because last time I fucked up on the minutes. Next person is Nicki Minaj. I don't care if she had implants on her tits or her ass or whatever. She looks goddamn good. I would love to fuck her every goddamn night. I love to fucking marry her. I would do anything. But it's like Drake and shit like that about saying about, yeah, I was, I was serious. I want to marry you and this and that. Damn right, Drake. Hell yeah, I would be doing the same thing, telling her up and shit, building her up with all that shit. She would take me and shit. Hell yeah, I would be loving that shit all throughout my life. But anyways, um, next is number seven is Maya Harrison. You, you're wondering, who's Maya Harrison? Well, if you don't know, the R&B singer Maya came back back in the, in the late 90s to Cisco. Um, hot ass girl. I don't care if she had a little titty or whatever. Man, she's sexy as hell. Man, she knows how to move. She knows when. I tell you this, she's sexy as hell. I'm just giving you a heads up on that. Uh, number six, Michelle Rodriguez. Ever since I seen her in Fast and the Furious, damn, I was wondering who the hell is that girl, man, that Vin Diesel's girlfriend or whatever and shit like that. He's been tied around to and shit. And I found out and then she was in girl fight for Fast and the Furious, man. Sexy as hell. Man, I wish she was, I bet she, she's, oh, oh, I tell you, man, oh, I'd love to marry her or freaking date her and shit. But anyways, she, I'll just tell you this, she's fucking bad as hell, and she's sexy as hell. So, but anyways, back to the list, uh, number five, Cassie. Not the dude, I'm talking about the female, Cassie. Uh, R&B singer is on P. Diddy, P. Diddy's label, who's fucking her. And shit, if you don't know. Yeah, he's fucking her and all that shit. He was lucky, man, because fucking her. I swear to God, I would love fucking her or, or fuck buddies or, or girlfriend, boyfriend or, or date or whatever. I would love to date her, marry her, fuck her, whatever. Damn, the nipple rings and pussy. Oh, man. I would love to fucking make that pussy a little bit bigger. I'm going to pity he's putting that pussy bigger for you and shit. I'm going to have to. If you gave me a chance, I would make it big for you. <laughs> Anyways, uh, number four is Sierra. Damn, I think a little, a little bow I didn't know what he was missing when he fucking got rid of her or they, or she got rid of him. I don't know. I, I tell you this, when you see my, I seen all of her music videos before, man. I tell you this, I bet she's a major freak. Especially, I, I bet she dominates. I bet she controls the situation when it comes to sex and shit. I bet she, she knows how to work it better than a dude would ever do. You know, if I even do it better than what I th think I could to her, I still, I think she'd do it better. I tell you, I would love to marry her. I'd love to have her with my children. I'd love to have sex with her or anything. I tell you this, she could rob me all the time. Lil Bella, you're a fucking asshole for whatever the hell you did to her, because I swear to God, you lost somebody who's real sexy as fucking hell. But anyways, number three, uh, Zoe Sandrella or whatever, uh, Col from Columbia, and guess who? Sexy as hell. Somebody I would love them hair and everything else. But like I said, I keep it short. I'm going to go to the next one. Number two, Kiki Palmer. Damn. 
since she's 18 now and everything else, I can say whatever I want. Damn, I wish I was her boyfriend. I wish I could be her husband or whatever or have kids with her. Man, she's sexy as hell. I've seen her grow up and everything else from movies and shit. I tell you, I wish I was her boyfriend that she's truly in love with it. I think still right now. I tell you, you're a lucky man. If you had that pussy, I'll tell you, I bet you'd probably love every fucking minute of it. Everything. I would treat that shit, cherish it. And everything else. I'll tell you this. Just not just because of the pussy, especially the love and everything else. Still, you got a good woman there and shit. And she's a good star. I've seen her blowing up big time. More than what she's doing on Nickelodeon or anything else. Watch. Alright, last of the list. You won't want to know what number one is. Number one, nobody knows about me. It is Rihanna. I tell you this, Chris Brown. Fuck Chris Brown. I bet you I could do better than that motherfucker and everything else. Fuck that. I would show Chris Chris Brown what's up and shit. I give Rihanna what she needs, everything else. I've treated her like how she wants to be, like treated like a freak and everything else. Her music and everything else. Yeah, I love to do all that shit. And I love her having dominate my ass too. And shit like that. I think Chris Brown acts like a little bitch towards her and shit like that. That's why she likes to probably go back with him and shit because honestly she knows how he can treat her like a bitch. But I'll tell you this, I'll be man enough to where I could treat her where uh, I could torture her and do all that shit that she loves doing and everything what I've been reading about. I'll tell you Rihanna, I'll tell you this, i do it better than Chris Brown. I bet you i fucking, you would love everything I would do to you and shit. I, you know what, you're my number one no matter what. I bet you would probably still be my number one. I'd redo this countdown. I'll tell you this, Rihanna, you never had a man on the set. If I ever had a chance in the hell with you, you'd be my number one. I don't wish I would have had a chance with you to date you or marry you, even if it didn't come to sex or anything, I don't care. And if it came to sex, man, I'll tell you this, you blow my fucking mind, I bet you. I'd be fucking t I'll probably have a heart attack and die after that, but still. Anyways, but, yeah. Anyways, I'll get back to you in part five on this shit. Just